I'm just talking in this video and answering a few questions, not really asking questions, just addressing things on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Here getting ready for the day. Welcome back to our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, turn on the notification bell when, when, when you want to know that we post a video. I'm basically up here getting the kids ready for today. Um, they already ate their breakfast and uh, we get ready to head out the door soon. Shh, they always making noise. We get ready to head out the door soon. Um, what I want to address is the boy in the red shirt y'all talking about yesterday was Isaiah. He is not eligible for school yet. He started school in August. Let me clarify that as well um no um shalana was not born with any drugs in her system or anything like that um shalana was born a premium she was born um two months earlier kira was born three months early i wanted to address that to you guys too as well um no there was no concerns with them with drugs in their system when there were babies no they came out with no drugs and of course they test everybody um the mom the father and the baby so no on that question too as well um i'm talking also I seen that they was talking about um, Elijah is not in the right grade. Elijah is um, in the first grade. He is, um, his test scores are high and everything like that. So I made the decision to go ahead and talk with the principal to put him up in a higher level. So he's in the first grade, congratulations to Elijah. That was two or three weeks ago um, when he first started this new school here where we're at. Um, um, the principal contacted me and I also wrote a letter to his teacher letting her know that once the exams and everything come back, let me know what is what. But the principal contacted me herself and stated that his um, reading came out real good, that he, can be placed into the first grade because of his age. And now um, I told you, yeah, that would be the best decision to do it that way. So we agreed to put him in the first grade. So again, congratulations to my baby, um, Eli, for, for that. And um, any other questions and concerns I may have, I do read comments sometimes and I do see them. And sometimes I do respond, sometimes I don't. If I do respond, it's because some people just basically going to the Reddit app going back and forth talking about um, my children are saying certain things or Nika not feeding their kids and Nika not doing this. Are they not getting enough food? My kids are 24-7 a day if they like to. If you go in the pantry right now, all the juices and snacks are just about gone because when my back is turned, the kids like savage dogs, they go in there and eat everything. So if they go in the pantry, eat what they want. They go in the pantry, eat what they want. They make mess I'm cleaning it up. So it's basically, I'm, I'm starting from the beginning, trying to start over and have a positive vibes on my channel with the new people that's coming over to see, you know, my life and not agree with what somebody else is saying all over the internet, that they can come and watch for themselves and see what kind of mother I am to my children. There's always haters that's watching them, trying to cop block, you know what I'm saying, on what I do and how I do and the way I live. But I'm gonna live a testimony because like I said, I show the world so many times on how I move from one place to another, try to provide for me and my children, which I'm not trying. I M, and if somebody tells me to do a registry for my children, I just I do that. You know what I'm saying? And then the haters come after me about, oh, you, you got a registry up, and you this, that, and the third, or you begging for this, or you begging for that, or you sleep begging, or you doing this, or you doing that. To be honest, um, Faith can tell you one of my not my other Faith, not the the older um, Faith. She could tell you two Faiths on my channel. Yeah, she told me you could go ahead and get your registry out there. To get what the haters are saying because people trying to help you and your children so i was like you know what i don't really want to do it because i'm getting tired of hearing all the negative stuff that's going around the internet about oh i'm begging i'm this and that and the third when i'm trying to make a living for me and my children is all i'm trying to do you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day when somebody does come after me about anything about my children i try to be more professional in responding back to them i don't respond at all but you can hear it from the, in a minute you can hear it from the horse's mouth itself and i told y'all like i said anything to do with my children um personally honestly these are my kids i push out of my crock if there's anything you want to know about my children you'll have to get into the comments and y'all have a whole conversation from the really app coming over here talking about oh this and that and the third da, 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 blah j blah these kids are not wanting for nothing. They're happy. They're hum they are humble kids. They, you know, like Nana. Y'all be like, oh, well, Nana's her favorite pick. And this, that, and the third. She doesn't treat everybody the same. Nah, it's never like that. I don't have a favorite child. And one thing I want people to realize, too, as well, I treat all my kids the same. I treat all of them unconditional. With Junior, he's very spoiled. He doesn't want to do anything. He's just like his dad. He's selfish. He just want to have his cake and eat it, too. Basically, why I say it like that is because if he don't do his chores and everybody else go to the store, he going to want to get out and get out, too. If he wants to ride in the front seat, he's going to cry and pout and stay in the backyard like for hours yesterday. Um, after the kids got out of school, it was time for us to get ready to go. Junior get in the back of the um, outside. Somebody said this on my channel too as well. Nika, put that baby down, Kara. No, 
down. You can't pick her up. Put her down. Thank you. So we was in the backyard, excuse me, um, yesterday. And I was outside cleaning out the trunk in the, in the um, car so I could do laundry yesterday. I was going to record that. I was like, nah, Aisha got it a mess. Aisha takes the trash and throw it inside of the truck. He does this every time. And I have to go out there and show him how to do it every time because he's lazy. So I went out there. I did the trunk. I show him how to do it. I show him how to tear up all the cardboard boxes, take my address off the cardboard boxes or whatever um, that we had from the P.O. box. And we was out there cleaning out the car. So when I went inside the car, he said, Mama, I'm done with the car. I go inside of the car. It's trash falling out of the car that he left in there because we had already basically cleaned out all the trash again. So when I go in there to, um, to go look, all the trash fell out. He gets mad because he don't want to pick it up off the ground. He goes and sit in the back of the field because my house is like in the field in the woods. He goes sits in the back of the field, had me waiting on him. I'm fussing with him and telling him, you always want something for yourself and you don't never want to listen to what I have to say. Now, if your father was in your, in this household living here, it would have been a difference. But with me being a single mother by choice, my kids tends to take take my take my kindness for weakness and they, and they seem like, oh, I can have what I want. I can do what I want, when I want, how I want and doesn't pay me any attention. That's where the discipline comes in at and see i don't do discipline on the internet that's one thing i don't do excuse me excuse me excuse me i'm talking y'all always making noise chill out that's what i don't do is give a lot of discipline on the internet like i might yell and scream at them but that's not no harm you yelling and screaming on like your lives or whatever else when i used to go live because i'm basically showing the world what i do when i'm off camera i don't touch my kids but i think like my grandma used to do with us get a belt on them every now and then maybe they might tighten up and do things a little bit different like last night we got in here for a prime example let me put it like this we all ate noodles last night because everybody trashed the kitchen if you had to only see how the kitchen floor had looked because there's no furniture or nothing in this house the kitchen floor was a disaster from the babies so i got mad with everybody so you know everybody got to get in here and teamwork we got in here we ate beef noodles last night for dinner i got fish and fries out for today so when they get home from school they do their rooms because their room is a little untacky it's not bad it's just the floor need to be done something like that and they um, bed um stuff that they took off need to be in the dirty clothes but other than that it is not no um no bad blood in this house at all it's just i'm trying to teach my kids how to become young men young women grown adults one day and be able to walk out into this world and face this world alone but i have to have somebody give you a handout but if you need help i always tell them if you need help you can always reach out to someone me your father whoever because they'll never feel like when the struggle gets real that you can't go out there and let somebody know what you, what's going on or or what's really happening in your life that you really got a life situation to where everything has fallen down in your lap and you need help you know what i'm saying that's what i try to teach them on these videos that i be making like if i don't go out here and make these videos i can't make money Y'all want to go in the store every day and ask for something. Mama, can I get a phone? Mama, can I get this? Mama, can I get that? Mama, can I get that? I got to get out here and make these videos and post these videos for y'all to get out here and get what y'all want. But I can't do this if I got to sit up here every time and get on camera and be yelling and screaming and telling y'all to stop talking and stop running. Stop doing this. Pick up the trash. Do this. Do that. It's like everybody going to have their own opinion when you have your when you have your life on social media, especially when you have a, a YouTube channel or Instagram or whatever you may have. Um, people gonna go on there and, and be judgmental on their own. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, they're gonna be judgmental on their own. It's gonna come with positive, it's gonna come with negative. I can understand all that. But at the end of the day, all I do is try to show the world what it's like to be a real mother. Cause you know, like I always say, people always using my damn words. Um, she always say, well, she never, had, she never had a mother, she had a grandmother. That's the reason why she a bad mother. Nah, that's not the point. That's what y'all think in your minds. Because at the end of the day, when CPS stepped into my home the first time, I was never on TikTok, Instagram, none of that stuff. We was living in a neighborhood to where it was always shooting going on, drugs, trafficking, all kind of stuff going on. It was a place for us to live at that time. And you know what I'm saying? I live in that neighborhood. Yeah, my kids ran outside, ran the block, do whatever. You know what I'm saying? While I'm in the house. So at the end of the day, I went from one situation, one bad situation to another. I moved from out of there because of the fact I was threatened by a kid, a 15 year old. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I tried to talk to her mom, but her mom want to jump and fight. That's not me. You know what I'm saying? When you're raising a child like that, I can't, I, I don't, I don't got time for that. So I basically moved from out of that situation, moved somewhere else. Somebody got my address. That's the second time I moved. Somebody got my address. I had to move again. And not only that, my living situation was a little bit different because the money was tight and I had to pay that high ass rent out there where I was living um, the first time. Then I had to move again. So this is like my third time moving that time I moved. This is like my sixth time moving right now. This is my sixth time moving right now where I'm at right now because of, you know, just basically social media was because of uh, TikTok when I first started off. Um, people just was being so angry about things that I post or things that I do. 
or things that I say maybe, but I don't know. I just feel like inside of my heart, y'all, I'm a humble human being. I don't I don't cause harm towards a child or anybody else. I don't send out threat words to nobody unless somebody threatened me. And I'm not that type of person to be out here trying to get on the internet and put somebody else's life out there and put a video out there and talk about them or what they doing wrong or how they doing things or how they may raise their kids or how they live their life. I only get up here and do things that Nika loves to do. And that's being a mother to my children, showing our daily life and what we like to do as a unit, as a team. And, that, and you know, by that note, y'all, all I got to say is, shh, shh, too loud, too loud, too loud, too loud. Hey, boogie boy, too loud. By that note, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. But don't never judge a book by its color. Always get to know a person first before you come on their platform and start discriminating on them on how much money they may spend, um, how many um, kids they may have, or if their kids' clothes ain't clean or dirty or whatever, or if their house ain't big enough, or they're living in a trailer, or they're living in a house. It doesn't matter what a person's living in, as long as they got lights to see, food to eat, water to wash their ass, clothes on their back, a bed to lay in, a floor, or whatever. They got something to live in. You know what I'm saying? Some people, now until they don't have a place to live. So we announced they don't have a shower to wash in, clothes to put on their backs. You know, so you got people right here standing around here with signs trying to get help. So if God has made a way for you and your family, don't think about what somebody else is saying about you. Shit, keep shining and keep keep shining and doing you. Because like I said, I'm a shine bright like a dime. I'm gonna go hard when it goes to my kids because the fact they're gonna my kids did not ask to be here. You know what I'm saying? They did not ask to be here. I laid on my back, bust my legs open, and had these kids. I'm going to take care of these kids. And at the end of the day, everybody who supported us through all through all our journeys on our platforms, I appreciate y'all still being in our corner. All the haters keep on watching, keep on supporting us, because we appreciate that too as well. At the end of the day, y'all don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to hold you guys up. I just had a lot on my chest I wanted to talk to you guys about because of the fact they ain't going... The world don't see the inside. They only see the outside. And what I mean by that is what you post is what they go by and what they run with to try to flip it to make something out of nothing. So see you guys later. Have a good day. Stay blessed. Stay safe on this Wednesday afternoon.